Hi, everyone, and welcome to Priority Software's webinar about Priorities Mobile Solution. My name is Nicole Lipper, and I'm a product manager here at Priority. I want to thank you all for joining us today. We're very happy to have you with us. So let's take a look at what we have in store for us today. Well, before we begin, I'd like to tell you a few things that you may or may not know about Priority Software. We have 75,000 customers worldwide. 9,000 of them use our Priority ERP software. Over the past year, we welcomed 17,000 new users. In the last five years, we were able to grow our business three times more. Part of that growth had to do with our global expansion. We acquired companies worldwide, and today we have offices in the US, the UK, and as of last year, Belgium. Finally, we're proud to say that the world's largest analysts, Gartner and IDC, recognize Priority as an innovative and flexible product, putting us on the world's leading ERP product list. Now, I wanna start off today uh, with a little bit of background information about our mobile solution. I'll tell you a little bit about our out-of-the-box apps that are ready for your use right now. Uh, after that, I'll show you a demo of some of our apps. We'll take a look at some of the features that are available to you using the demo. And I'll also show you how easy it is to build your own app using our mobile application generator. And I'll also fill you in on some of our plans for new mobile features in the future. So during the webinar, you'll be able to write down any questions you might have right on your screen. Please don't hesitate to write your questions during the presentation itself. Uh, my colleague and I will go over your questions, and at the end, we'll take a few minutes to answer questions that are relevant for most of you. So let's get started. Okay, I'd like to share with you that a few years ago, we led a wide market research project. It was focused on senior management executives in the small medium business market in the UK. We all know that mobile devices are an integral part of our personal lives, but what we wanted to know was exactly how relevant mobile is in everyday business processes. Our research showed us that 95% of executives believe that mobile can improve productivity in the workplace. As we continued to do our research, we discovered that only tools in, available in these organizations were emails, calendars, but none of them had solutions to support core business, such as purchasing, sales, and other processes. So why aren't businesses more mobile? We tried to understand why organizations weren't adopting mobile. We found out that 67% of executives that were surveyed thought it's too expensive and complicated to have a mobile solution implemented in their organization. 43% perceived it as a technological barrier that hasn't yet been conquered. And 35% talked about other HR related reasons that might arise. So what I want to show you today is that organizations can easily adopt our mobile solution without any technological barriers whatsoever. Just to be clear, uh, we have a variety of mobile solutions that are integrated into Priority. Some of them you may be familiar with or even maybe use them already. And of course, you can keep on using these solutions. But today, I'm here to talk to you about our Priority mobile solution formerly known as Priority Master, for those of you that are familiar with it. This solution is part of our standard vanilla software, starting from version 18, which means it has been with us for over two years. And it lets you take your business with you wherever you go. So if up until now you had to be in your office in order to get access to your business data, now you can access that data directly from your mobile device. By the way, when I say mobile device, I mean Android, Apple, and of course, tablets. So 
what exactly did we do? First of all, we checked out what you, our customers, need to have handy when you're out of the office. We took this information and transformed it into a series of apps that can be used as is for any of your needs. For example, you can allow your warehouse employees to count inventory in the warehouse by scanning barcodes using their mobile device camera. You can give your sales reps the ability to access important customer data while they're on the go. You can have your VP Finance approve purchase orders directly via a mobile device 24 seven without having to be in the office. And of course, there are many more functionalities available and we are adding more and more all the time. So Priority's mobile solution comes with out of the box apps for your immediate use, including the ones that I noted here, and of course, many more. You may want to use these apps just the way they are, and you may want to customize them to your organization's needs, or even build new apps altogether. And today I'm gonna to show you how all of this is done. And just to reassure you, you do not need to know how to write code for any of this. Okay, so after all this talking, I want to finally show you an example of how to use our mobile apps. So excuse me a minute, I want to connect my phone to the screen so that you can all see what I'm doing. Great. <clears throat> so, welcome to Priority's mobile app. As you can see, it looks a little different from the priority that you're used to see on your used to seeing on your desktop. And that's because we put a lot of effort into customizing Priority to fit your mobile needs in the best way possible. So when I enter this app, I'm actually starting off in my home page. As you can see, I have a few apps over here. And I'd like to take a minute to show you the sales app that I have here on my uh, on the left hand corner on the top here. OK, so I'm just going to click on the sales app and see what I have inside. OK, inside the sales app, I can see there are uh, all kinds of forms, forms that you probably recognize from priority, uh, the customer form, the contacts form, uh, invoices, price quotations, receipts sales orders, shipping documents, okay? These are all forms from Priority that I can see on my device. And these forms are organized under submenus to make it easier for me to navigate when there are a lot of forms in the app. So I want to show you uh, a scenario. Let's say I need to have full access to all of my Priority contacts because I'm always in touch with them. I'm always talking to them on the phone, uh, driving to meet them, okay? I need to have these uh, contacts with me all the time. So all I'm gonna do is click here on the contacts form. And now I can see all my contacts. You see, I'm scrolling down here and I can see all my customer contacts in priority. So I'm going back up here and let's say I need the contact details for Alec Flair. If I click on Alec Flair's contact, I can see inside more details about Alec. I have his phone numbers. Uh, it, you see this icon here on the right, uh, the phone. If I press this icon next to the phone, I can actually call Alec directly from my phone. Okay, I'm going back to the app. Uh, same thing about the email. You see there's an icon here of an envelope. So if I press this envelope, I can actually send Alec an email directly out of the app uh, to his Gmail, to his Outlook, whichever one he has here. So I can even um, update his date of birth. Let's say I want to uh, greet him on his special day. I can actually uh, put his date of birth in here as well and update it. 
So these are all very useful examples of how we can use our phone's built-in features while working with priority on our mobile. So I'm going to go back here to where we were before. I'm going back into the sales app. And I want to talk to you about some more features. Let's say that today I have a meeting with one of my customers, and I want to go over a price quotation that I drew up for them. I am going to scroll down here to the price quotation form. Now, when I click the price quotation form, I can see all the price quotations that are waiting for me. Okay, I'm scrolling down here, and I'm going to scroll back up. And the meeting I have right now is with my customer named Eileen. And here is Eileen's price quotation. I want to go over it with her. So I'm just going to click on Eileen's price quotation. Now, inside the price quotation, I can see that she asked for some very nice baby shoes and some very nice blue baby shirts. Okay, and let's say that she just remembered that she wants to add something more to the price quotation. No problem. You see this plus icon on the bottom? If I press this plus icon, I can add the baby cardigan that Eileen really wanted. She wanted 50 of them. Save, and that's it. I just added the baby cardigan uh, to the price quotation. Now I, I can delete it if I want. I'll just show it. I'll show you how easy it is. All I have to do is swipe left, press the actions icon, and delete. That's it. The line is gone. Okay. So it's very easy to add items, to delete items, to do any modifications that I need in this price quotation. And now I want Eileen to sign this price quotation. Okay. All I have to do is swipe the price quotation. I'm swiping left. I get an actions button. When I press it, I have a signature icon, the one with the pen. Okay. And as soon as I press this signature button, I can, I get in the uh, pad for signing. Okay. A signature pad appears and I ask Eileen to sign. So Eileen signs the price quotation. There she signed it and I press save. Of course, there's a preview screen available. In our case, we don't need it, but just so you know, there is one. And that's it. The price quotation was signed and saved in the price quotations attachments sublevel form automatically. I'll show you right now that if I enter the price quotation and go to the attachments, then I can see that the system automatically saved the price quotation with the signature, you see on the bottom right side, you can see my signature or Eileen's signature to be exact, okay? We did not have to print the price quotation. We didn't have to uh, have the customer sign the paper and then scan it back to the computer, save it in priority, okay? We didn't have to bring any signed papers to our back office site to take care of paperwork offline. It just happened online right in front of Eileen's eyes. Okay, so this is our signed quote. You can see the customer signature at the bottom, and I can even share this quote with Eileen by email or any type of share that you're used to working with on your phone. All you have to do is press, I'm, I'm here back at the uh, price quotation, okay? I'm swiping left just like I did before with the signature. And instead of pressing signature, I press print price quotation. Now, if I open it, I will see the price quotation just like we saw a second ago. But if I press the share button, then I'm redirected to my phone's sharing options, just like when you share um, anything on your phone with SMS or any messaging uh, app, okay? And you can just share it, email, whatever you want. So that's our demo for now, okay? And I'd like to... Uh, go back and show you the behind the scenes of all this. So just before I go to show you the behind the scenes, I just want to recap what we saw. We saw an application, okay? We saw how to work uh, with the application. We saw the look and feel. I showed you examples of everyday use for your business. We saw how to call a customer contact from the app, how to email them, even how to have the customer sign a document. 
directly out of our mobile device. Okay, all of this is just a few uh, sales scenarios. Think of all the other things you can do with it. So now I want to show you the behind the scenes, just like I promised. How does the app I just show you, show you look in priority? So I'm going back, okay? And I'm gonna enter priority right now. So just a moment. Okay, so this is priority version 19.1, which is the newest version we currently have. Okay, I want to go to a form called application generator. I have a shortcut on my homepage. So I'm just gonna click here. This is the application generator form. Okay. Uh, as you see, it looks like a regular priority form. Um, I'd like to have the uh, app on my screen, the app that we were just going over. Okay, so this is the app, the sales app that we were just uh, reviewing together and we saw the demo for. Okay, if I go down here to the forms in the application, I can see the contents of my sales app. I can choose what I want to appear in the app. For example, uh, I can put here the uh, customer form, the price quotation form, okay? All those forms we saw in the app, this is where I uh, tell priority what the contents of my app is. And for each form, I went down here to form columns, okay? And marked which fields I want to have in the form. Okay, you can see I have these flags over here and I have the position and I just said which one of the fields I want to have in each one of the forms, okay? Now, remember when I uh, showed you the signature? So all I did was put the, uh, print document in the app. That's all I had to do, okay? So I told you before that our mobile solution comes with predefined apps that you can customize if you want or build new apps altogether. So the first thing I wanna show you today is how to customize an existing app, okay? This sales app that I built, I did not have to build it, build it from scratch. I took a predefined sales app, I copied it, and then I made a few adjustments according to my needs. So using this button right here in the actions, the actions button, I have a clone application button, okay? So I can clone any application. In this case, I cloned a predefined sales application, okay? Called it sales and started customizing it. So in our sales scenario, let's say uh, this is the, this is my sales app, okay? I've been working with it for a while and it's really good for me. But recently my organization expanded and now I have to work with sites. I want all price quotations in the mobile app to have a site field at the top. Now all I have to do is go down to where the price quotation is. Okay, it's down here. There it is, okay. Stand on the price quotation form. And you see here the site and site description. All I have to do is flag them as fields that I want to be in the app, okay? I can tell the system what position I want for these fields, and that's it. I'm done. As soon as I go back up, to the application and click refresh application up here. You see this button? That's it. The change, uh, the changes I made will automatically come into effect right now in the app, okay? Now, the second thing I wanna show you is how to build a totally new app in just a few seconds. An app that's customized 100% to my needs and how I can transfer it to my phone instantly. So our, 
New scenario is that I want to provide my employees with access to Priority's customer price lists on their mobile device. I want to go up back up here to the upper upper level part of the application generator and click this button here, the new button, okay? I want to give the application a name, just a second. Okay, this is the name I want to give my application and title. That's the title. And language is the language. I want English. Okay, now I'm going to go down. And this is where I told you that I have to uh, say which forms are going to be in the app. So the first form we were talking about is the priceless form. So F is for form, okay? You can see we have P for procedure and R for report, but I'm adding a form now, so I'm picking F, okay? And I want to add the price list. There it is. And when I go down here to form columns, I just want to have the priceless code, the priceless description, the currency, and the valid list date, okay? And I want it in this order, one, two, three, four, five. Now, in the preview mode, I'd like to see only the priceless code, the description, and the currency. That's enough for me in preview mode. And when I search a price list, I'd like to be able to search by priceless code, priceless description, and currency. Okay, that's it. And now I'm going back up and I'd like to put in the items of the price list. So this time I will add part prices. Okay, and I'm going down to where, uh, to the form columns, and I would like to have part number, part description, quantity, unit, price, currency, and picture. Okay, and that's actually the order I'd like to have it in. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And when I am in preview mode. I'd like to be able to see the part name, the part description, the price, and the picture. And about searching capabilities, I will only want them to be able to search by part number and part description. Well, that's it. I am finished with this app, okay? Uh, I built a new app that has a customer price list inside. I told the system which fields I want to show the user. And like I mentioned earlier, you can show any of your personal fields or forms that you may have, okay? So if you have any uh, customizations or personal developments, uh, there won't be a problem to put them here in the application generator. So that's it, I finished building the app. All I need to do now is press this button over here that's called send link to app. And this app will be sent directly to my mobile device, okay? I will receive a, an email with a QR code. And all I have to do is scan that QR code using my phone, okay? So I want to connect back to my phone and show you how this new app that we just built looks. So one moment, please.
Okay, great. So I am going to enter the customer price list app that we just built. Okay, it has the priceless form just like we built. And in my company, we only have one price list, the VIP price list. So I only see one. But um, if you had a few, then you would see a few. You can see here the preview view where I asked only for the priceless code, the description, and the currency. But when I enter the price list, I can see more details. And when I go to part prices, I can see all the parts in my price list with their price okay exactly the fields i told the system that i want which is very very cool and if i want to share this app with my employees it's no problem i'm going to go back to my home page where all the apps were let's say i want to share the sales app so when i click the sales app I have this share icon, and if I press this share icon, then I can send the app uh, via email or any other sharing platform that you have on your phone, and the employee on the other end will instantly get the app and can start working immediately. Okay. So, what's next in Priority Mobile? We just saw how easy it is to work with our apps, how we can customize them, even build totally new ones. I want to spend our last few minutes together to share some of our upcoming features. It's important for me to let you know that we're always developing new features, and this is just a glimpse of what's in store. So credit card clearing. Soon, you'll be able to charge your customers via credit card directly from your mobile device. For example, if you're with a customer now, you can su supply him with the product or the service and charge them on the spot. Soon, you'll also be able to navigate to your customer directly from your app. Think of a scenario where your driver opens his app in the morning and sees all the customers he has to visit today. And with a quick click, he can navigate to all of the customers on the list using his mobile phone's navigation app. Soon you'll also be able to send digitally signed invoices from your mobile and not only from Priority itself. And also you'll be able to receive push notifications directly to your mobile phone. For example, if I just drafted up a purchase demand and I want to send it to my manager for approval, as soon as I change the price, the purchase demand status to waiting for approval, my manager receives a push notification on his phone saying that a purchase demand is waiting for his approval. And when he clicks on it, he's immediately redirected to the app for his approval. So we're always working on new features and functionalities, many of which are based on requests from our customers. So your feedback is really important to us. Okay, we finished going over everything we planned for today. We started off with background information on priority and our mobile solutions. I told you about our out-of-the-box apps that are ready to use right now. Then I showed you a demo of some of our apps and we took a look at some of the features that are available. I also showed you how easy it is to build your own app using our mobile application generator. And I filled you in on some of our plans for new features in the near future. So I'd like to uh, first of all tell you that if you need any more information, please don't hesitate to open a ticket and our, at our service center and our team will be happy to help. I'd like to take these last few minutes to go over questions that you asked during the webinar. And I would like to um, go over some of the questions that are relevant for most of you. Okay. <clears throat> so some of you asked, which devices are we compatible with? So I'm just going to recap and tell you that Priority Mobile is compatible with both Android and iOS devices and, of course, tablets. Uh, some of you asked here if you can build your own apps. So sure, as I mentioned, 
uh, you can use priorities out of the box apps just as they are and you can also customize them to fit your personal needs or you can build a new app altogether so everything is possible uh, we have another question here if uh, customers personal developments are supported uh, so yes uh, any forms or fields or actions that you added to your own personal priority are supported. We were also asked if we support priority add-on modules. So, of course, uh, yes, we do. Any models that you might have, such as customer service, projects, manufacturing, and others are supported. Okay, um, is a customer's business logic part of Priority Mobile? So, uh, yes. One of the very big advantages of working with Priority's mobile app is that all business logic is in one place, in your Priority. You don't have to worry about setting up new business logic for the mobile. For example, all the BPM rules that you set up in Priority will automatically be updated and accessible in Priority Mobile. Uh, we were asked if you can use your phone's camera to scan barcodes. So the answer is yes. You can use the camera on your phone to scan barcodes. For example, you can count the inventory in your warehouse using only your phone. Uh, you can use the mobile application generator to set up other scenarios for barcode scanning, or you can use our scenarios. Another question that we have uh, is about companies. Okay, we were asked if a customer has a few companies, can they approve purchase orders from all three of them? So yes, actually you can. Uh, you can switch between companies in Priority Mobile. Every Priority user, based on his user privileges in Priority, can see all the companies that he needs to see in the mobile device. So if he needs access to um, purchase orders from three different companies, then there's no problem to um, switch between these companies. Let me just check if we had any more uh, questions while you were waiting. Okay. It looks like we answered all of the questions. So thank you very much for your questions. And of course, uh, please don't hesitate to reach out to us, open a ticket in our service center. Our team will be happy to help. And thank you all for taking time today to join us. I'm Nicole Lipper, and we look forward to welcome you, welcoming you to future Priority Software webinars. Thank you, everyone, and have a great day.